Well, just wanted to say good evening to you. Been quite a little while here. I've been uh, taking some time out to really allow the Lord to um, do more in me than what he's done before. And um been quite interesting, actually. I wrote about uh, light to see this morning, um, and I wanted to talk about it uh, for those of you that may have needed some more um, explaining of what that was all about. Well, as I said, uh, it was around 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm sitting up, uh, not really doing much. Um, I normally stay up around those hours for over the past couple of years. Uh, maybe the past three years I've been doing it quite a bit uh, and being led by the Lord to do it. I've had some of the most interesting things that have taken place around that time. And um, much like most of you, uh, I've been going through this purging process and allowing the Lord to take things out of my soul and uh, help me walk in the in the light according to first Corinthians uh, Colossians uh, 1 and um, quite interesting um, the uh, Lord has started to answer me and so at 4 a.m. Um, Saturday night I'm sitting there by myself and uh, just praying and worshiping and so forth and uh, enjoying uh, the presence of the Lord that's there and and uh, just really um, just thinking about him, you know. And so uh, as I'm uh, praying there, I uh, happen to see one flash in front of me and, uh, and I waited for a second and... Uh, Within a few seconds, another flash uh, uh, happened. And, uh, you know, the Lord says, Signs and wonders shall follow those that believe. This should be happening to each and every one of us. So I don't want to explain this or share this if it, as if I'm the only one that can encounter this. This is for every one of us. But it does require that you seek the Lord a lot. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden... Uh, I look over and I see one flash right in front of me and when it did um, it was almost like I was looking um, into heaven itself um, I could feel and hear sound um, I could feel pres the presence of, of heaven that was unbelievable the most breathtaking thing for me was how bright it was and um, I don't know about most of you, but sometimes it can seem like that most of this is, is just isn't real. Uh, even though we're believers, we think that way. Believe you me, I'm only saying what most of us are thinking. Because uh, most of us right now are in the process of getting to uh, a place in God instead of us being a part of, uh, of this whole inheritance. We are the inheritance. And so as this light beams, it just, man... It was the most incredible thing. It overwhelmed me. Uh, just a glimpse of it. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to see the whole thing. It's just a mere glimpse. And I got a, I caught a glimpse in it. And it shook me uh, for a few days. Um, and it was just the most amazing thing that I ever saw ever uh, in my walk with the Lord. And it looked just like a star. And it just really loud like that. And all of a sudden I could see... Uh, uh, into the realm, and it was far beyond what I ever thought that I knew. Um, man, it really shook me, really shook me quite a bit. Um, but we have to understand why God does this. Uh, you know, this uh, uh, was uh, incredible. It shined so bright into my right eye. I remember how bright it was, overwhelmingly bright. And um, so... I began to think about it, and um, then I felt led to really take a look at it, and why would God do this is the answer uh, that we have to look at 
Uh, most times, you know, we have these encounters and we don't even seek the Lord out to even understand that the scriptures will bear witness to the signs and the wonders that God does. Uh, there is nothing that he hasn't spoken uh, that isn't in the scriptures. You'll primarily find your dreams interpreted within the Psalms um, most of the time. Um, I wouldn't say all the time, but most of the time you can look right there. Anyway, um, so I start to think about this and I begin to seek it out. Uh, I begin to wonder what this meant, right eye, you know. You know, the ear, the thumb, and the great big toe are for those that are being uh, introduced as priests. Uh, and even those that come back as eunuchs or those that have fallen away from the Lord and return. Uh, there is a type, the same type of ceremony. Uh, great big thumb, great big ear, big toe, except for two different things take place in that ceremony. One is that they pour the oil on your hand and on your heads. And um, that's for somebody. Um, but so the restorative work and the restorative, the restorative process uh, of God and the way that he's bringing us back, he's bringing us back to him. And um, as I begin to look at this word, uh, it's, pro it's pronounced ain. Uh, or I, or it's, a, it's similar to an I, uh, seven, seven different characters, 70 different, I'm sorry, uh, meanings behind this whole deal, uh, talks about the, uh, the Torah. It talks about, um, the five books of the Bible. It talks about the coming together. It talks about, uh, the remembrance and worshiping and also ceremonial aspects of um, what we are to do as believers in honoring uh, God and honoring one another. A uh, very, very um, important thing. And I believe as I wrote uh, that we uh, have went through the door, but the door is the Lord, so we're going to learn about Him. And this is what this is all about. It's not how far we can go, how many people we can touch, uh, we'll never know that anyway because heaven bears record of that. But we are called to bear light. And um, a lot of times you're bearing light in a tough time. That's Isaiah 61 and 2. But we're bearing light in great times of darkness, so it seems. Um, we are called to do that. We come down from the Father of lights in whom there's no darkness, neither shadow or turning. There's no darkness in God. God is good. And I was thinking about it that night and how good he is. And I thought about it today, how good he is and how good God really is. And I'm telling you, we have yet to understand. I have yet to understand that I'm asking the Lord to give me more on this subject because I believe it's on the mountain uh, as well, because the scriptures do bear truth in stating that in your light, we'll see light. Or life. Then it says in John 1, it says, The light came down and dwelt among men, and men didn't even perceive it. So I believe that it is more of our perception for God. I believe that we need to perceive Him uh, more, seek Him more, ask Him more questions, do things, you know, that make Him happy. Spend your time thinking on Him, keeping your heart on heaven. And I believe that this is just a little token to me that night from Him, and it was overwhelming. And it was probably one of the most, as I said, incredible things that I've seen to date. And I've seen a lot of things from the Lord uh, over time, you know. But um, it's all leading to Him, you know. I, you know, we're not supposed to follow signs. We're supposed to follow him and the signs follow us. Um, as an indicator, I believe, of his presence with us. And I believe that, uh, you know, those types of things as I encounter are just beautiful, orchestrated signs 
of the Lord to it's supposed to be with us all the time when we start to accept God's supernatural as natural then the supernatural overwhelms what you see here or it should or it will begin to as you progress in this uh, whole aspect of what we're called to do and that's just to look like him and to be like him and then it'll also show light in our face remember Moses when he came down uh, said his face shone with light or was very bright when I read the interpretive thing on shown light it interpreted out luminous bright light was shining from Moses as well and uh, I believe this is a a very important thing to discuss uh, right now especially on the mountain where there's teaching where there's high revelation where there's things that God is wanting to say to us show to us I'm asking the Lord to touch each and every one of us uh, and let his signs and wonders follow those that believe. And I will tell you, it is a learned process in learning to believe. And um, it's one of the most incredible uh, times to live in right now. And just to keep getting free, keep ripening, keep walking in the light. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.
Grateful.